and here we are going to discuss about electric current. So as usual with the demonstration we can start afterwards we will go to theory part right and here I have choose I have chosen one band yes this is uh, have you agree this is closed and continuous one yes this rubber band is closed and continuous one and here assume that each and every yellow color plastic ball is electron ok now if you are switch on the battery ok if you are switch on the battery ok so assume that uh, what we can do from negative to positive right mm, yes this side is negative terminal and this side is positive terminal so smaller one is negative and bigger one it is positive terminal of the battery so this is a battery negative terminal positive terminal so here we have continuous and closed circuit we have ok now what will happen the sense assume that this white color ball is an electron ok this is negative terminal so all the electrons are moved towards the positive terminal listen it started to move this positive terminal right yes yes so the electrons are shifted towards like this direction towards positive terminal of the battery and what is current electric current means the rate of flow of charge carriers here the charges are moving towards positive terminal right so so here the electrons are moving towards the positive terminal so the current will move from positive terminal to negative terminal that means just opposite direction of flow of electron current will pass this is a concept in this demo right and here we have discussed electric current so what is electric current in the sense rate of flow of charge carrier rate of flow of charge carrier and the electric current have the symbol is i capital i is equal to q by t q is charge T is time taken how much charge is passing through that time right and this Q can be written as n into E where n is number of electrons or number of charge carriers E is charge of that carrier either electron or proton. So here E is the charge of electron for now and T is as I said time taken right and suppose if one coulomb of charge right we have one coulomb of charge in that one coulomb of charge how many charge carrier is available we can able to calculate by using this formula here q is equal to ne so one coulomb so instead of q i substitute as one coulomb q is equal to ne so one coulomb is equal to n e into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so for q is one coulomb n we are going to find out e is charge of electron this is the constant 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb this is a charge of electron right what you are going to find n number of electrons so 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 because this time this side we have multiplication therefore it should goes to this side in the sense division so 1 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so denominator power should goes to numerator in the sense 10 power plus 19 so 10 power plus 19 divided by 1.6 so this 10 power 19 can be expressed as 10 into 10 power 18 yes it is correct 10 into 10 power 18 is equal to 10 to the power 19 divided by 1.6 right so 10 divided by 1.6 how we can do 100 by 16 so just multiply by 10 multiply by 10 it will give 100 it will give 16 so 100 divided by 16 that will give 6.25 and here we have the power 10 power 18 so n is equal to 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons so one coulomb of charge contains how many electrons 6.25 into 10 power 18 electrons therefore similarly for 10 coulomb 62.5 into 10 power 18 electrons or 6.25 into 10 power 19 electrons we can say right so the concept remains same and 
what is the SI unit of electric current it is ampere do not forget the SI unit of electric current is ampere if you are writing the name as as like that A is small letter A M P E R E ampere or otherwise we are using a simple single letter use capital A right. So, from that we can define 1 ampere. So, generally what we are saying current I is equal to Q by T. So, do not mug up any definition or in physics part I is equal to Q by T. So, Q is charge what is the SI unit of charge? Yes, coulomb and T is seconds. So, 1 coulomb of charge is passing 1 second in a circuit then it will give 1 ampere current. Remember that 1 coulomb of charge is passing through 1 second that will gives 1 ampere. Yes, it is clear. Now, here I mentioned the one simple diagram circuit diagram. Here I, I have battery, here I have key. Key is other name is called switch to control on off. Yes. So, if the key is closed, the battery is on, what will happen? Current will pass from positive terminal to negative terminal. Remember that the current will flow from positive terminal of the battery to negative terminal, whereas the electrons will move from negative terminal to positive terminal. So, remember that the electron will always flow in the opposite direction of current direction. So, current is always flow in the opposite direction of flow of electrons. So, this is a concept for electric current.